you're really into keto and mm -hmm. uh yeah and i i was just wondering man what got you into keto and your story uh well i found keto on accident uh it was about four years ago and this was a time before you could search keto on the internet i mean it was there was no youtube videos no you you know keto vloggers all that stuff which looking back was actually a benefit to be honest with you um and so i was training in the gym at that time you know one-on-one -on -one clients yeah. and put them through workouts and stuff and and a guy walked in and he was one of the top doctors in the country and um Every time I got a new client, first thing I would say is, okay, like, tell me about your diet, right? And the first thing he said was, I wake up first thing in the morning, and I have two tablespoons of olive oil. And at that point, I was like, dude, bro, you, you're one of the top doctors in the country, and you're telling me you're eating two tablespoons of fat, basically. And I'm like, you're crazy. Yeah. You know, uh, but it really, I didn't say that because you don't just say that. You kind of have to sit there and be like, okay, what's the reason? He explained the reason and all that stuff. And it went against everything I knew. I thought fat was bad, it was gonna kill you and all that stuff, calories and all that stuff. And I'm like, but I sat back and I listened to him and things. And then that led into an opportunity because he was working in a mental health facility uh, in Atlanta, Georgia at the time. He was the chief medical officer. And um, this is a place where there's um, kids between 18 and 24 years old who suffer from severe mental illness, schizophrenia, bipolar. Uh, many of them had tried to commit suicide and they all come from all across the United States into this rehab mental health facility and they live there and they 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 go through all that stuff there um the one thing they all had in common is they took a medication that made them gain like 30 pounds in like a month and a half uh and that would yeah and so that would open them up to a lot of health issues heart conditions really bad blood panels things like that so he was conducting a study on metabolic it's called metabolic syndrome um to see what effect diet and exercise would have on combating this weight loss all these these negative side effects and so i was brought in because i was his trainer um so he brought me in from the gym to this medical facility and then all, all of a sudden i'm training kids with mental illness in the gym uh that's a whole story in and of itself it was absolutely the craziest experience ever working with these kids i'm used to training people that want to be you know fitness models yeah. and bigger biceps and abs now I'm training kids that are seeing numbers in the sky and, and they have cuts all over their arms. And so I'm watching them do exercises and it's, it's, it was kids that had tried to kill themselves a month before. That was um, a very eye-opening experience, but long story short, they were putting the kids on a ketogenic diet and that was the first time I'd ever heard of it. I thought it was crazy. I couldn't even believe it, but I was just the trainer. I had no part. They had nutritionists, the doctors were running all that stuff. And so I just kind of kept an eye on what they were doing and learned as much as I could. And, um, and then I became a believer because at the end of the study through the diet and exercise, they were projected to save 10 years off their life. The mental health benefits were incredible, but I had learned about and discovered the ketogenic diet. And so I tried it myself, found incredible results myself. I think um, in the, like the fitness industry, it wasn't that known, right? Oh, no, 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 no nobody knew about it it was and i to be honest with you i wanted to keep it a secret and i did for a few months because at that time i was very into competitive uh, competitions and um i felt like i found the holy grail like to be able to lose weight get shredded without losing muscle and have energy is like every bodybuilder cuts carbs yeah. right when it comes to getting really really shredded for shows your energy goes down the tank most bodybuilders and they still don't increase the fat because every bodybuilder at that time was afraid of increasing fat so you just feel like death weeks leading up to a show and it's something you can't maintain but i was like now all of a sudden able to cut the carbs and replace it with fat and i had totally shifted my mind i was a believer in it and it worked so i was able to come into shows very very lean very shredded but still have all the muscle that i spent um you know in the off season building so I didn't want to really say anything to people because I, I was just like, you know, it's a huge, a huge competitive advantage. Yeah. But then I started putting my training clients on it. They started losing rapid weight very, very fast. Um, and the same was true then because I was just putting them on low carb diets, high protein, low carb, and they were, they were losing weight, but they were feeling like crap. Um, then I switched them over to keto and it was a whole new world. And then I made one video on YouTube and at the time, um i didn't even want to be a youtuber i didn't even my wife was like eight months pregnant and i'm like i just flipped on a camera 
gave it a savvy title, Secret to Losing Weight with the Ketogenic Diet. Um, I still no remember edits. that video. No That's the edits. reason I got into keto. Yeah, no, I didn't know what the hell I was doing, bro. I was like, here we go. I just pressed record and spit it out. No edits, no fancy, nothing in that video. It got millions of views and uh, a lot of people like you, you know, found the diet that way. A lot of people still to this day comment on the video and say how much has changed their life. It's just a, it opened their mind, you know, because a lot of people have tried everything in the world and then hear yeah. some crazy guy like me saying, try this. Yeah, and they were willing to do it. And so that's how keto started. And then it just blew up the whole keto space. I don't know what it was. Like it was unbelievable. I, at that time, didn't think keto would ever blow up. It was so yeah. radical and it was incredible. Um, so I'm lucky to see keto before the boom, before all the companies and the products and the influencers and all the blah, blah, blah. Um, and so it's been a wild ride. Yeah. For me, it was like when I started, uh, I can still remember that was the first time I dropped weight like like mm -hmm. that because yeah. before I was just eating healthy. I was yeah. like eating healthy like yeah. five days a week. Uh -huh. And the other two days I had like a massive cheat day and I was thinking by myself like, why well, am I not losing weight? What is happening here? You yeah. Know? And then I tried keto and that was like the first time I told myself because you said uh, like a long time ago, it's like, you have to get through the keto flu first 